Hello friends, family, and other creatures of the sea, and welcome back to another high-level game of StarCraft 2. Today we have, in the bottom right, as our Red Protoss player playing for a team, Dragon Phoenix Gaming. It's going to be Hero. And in our top left, in the blue trunks, opening up with a double gas, it's going to be Maru. Ooh! Maru. Depot before orbital to block in that probe. That's a move I appreciate. That's a move I appreciate, Maru. You know that? I'm completely fine. Look at the, the harass that Hero's been doing, though. Half of these SCVs have, uh, are in one-shot territory from uh, from an Oracle at this point, or an Adept, if it ever were to get in. It's kind of interesting uh, of an approach. Force the Terran to either accept that when an Oracle comes in, you're going to lose some SCVs, or you need to start repairing these bad boys. Ooh, look at that. Almost gets one. Almost gets a kill, but not quite. I think currently we have two SEVs in the territory of being one shot. One SEV in the territory of being two shot, at least that I can see. No, there's one more here. So this is a two shot territory as well for an Oracle. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Adept first, Stargate being thrown down immediately here. We also see a command center being built on the high ground. Interesting. Uh, opener was with a Reaper double gas. So you figure that low ground CC is actually somewhat safe, but I guess because Maru did not end up going for a scout, he feels a little bit uh, a little bit afraid. He's a little bit scared. He's just a little bit scared here. Does not want to lose to some stupid proxy gauge shenanigans, which is something that Hero has been playing uh, as well in the past. This Reaper is not going to get in yet. Will not uh, gather any uh, very important information. Ooh, here comes the Reaper. No. Should be capable of getting at least all the info. The question isn't whether the info is uh, is going to be gathered, but whether the Reaper will stay alive. The answer to that is no. The Reaper will not stay alive. He can back himself into a corner there. First Phoenix is chronoed out. We'll start looking for any potential starports on the map. Or proxies, uh, factory starport type of proxy stuff. I guess that Hero did end up spotting that there was a factory in the main, right? Yeah, so you, you don't have to look for that, but... You want to know, like, hey, what's it actually going to be? Are we are we going to be looking at um, some type of early Hellion drop or, you know, a mine drop? Like, well, what is this? Ooh, poof. Mine is going to hit. Needs to be careful now. Single shot out of this Viking could really change things up. But no shot. He's going to take a third base here. Holy crap. Okay. That's balls, my friend. That's very ballsy. Cool stuff. Triple Adept is going to move across the map as well. Maybe looking for a couple of SCV kills. Maybe even capable of taking out a Marine here or there. As long as there's no Cyclone, this type of play is actually relatively safe. You can just shade out or run away. Both are fine. Fast Raven here for Maru. Who's going to follow this up with... Is this a tank or stim? It's going to be quick stim. Extra barracks as well. Triple Adept get in towards the main base. Are going to get cancelled though. So we see here Hero wants to keep these Adepts alive. I think ended up killing one SCV and one Marine already so far. So I hit my microphone with full force. I hope that did not provide too much noise. One Adept shades to the far back. We'll figure out that there's no third base yet. Important info. I like the way Hero's playing this. I really do like the way Hero's playing this. Very heavy on the minerals. He's gonna get a lot of money. But also taking four gas already. A really late robotics facility. And now a forge. All of this off of a single gate. And a third base that finishes at the five minute mark. Like this is... Oh, this is a build order, my friends. This is a build order. Sentry being warped in. I'm just so curious how Hero is going to be playing this. What's the actual plan here? Just gonna get into immortals, or you still want to get a robo bay? Robo bay starting at 533 against a raven opener. Gonna have a single colossi by the time the raven's already in your natural. Maybe not even. Yeah, I mean, then no, no, you're your your first colossus is gonna be at like 720 or so. It's actually a ridiculous timing for a first colossi. Add on top of that the fact that a Raven can disable the first Colossi a couple of times as well. This really makes me worry for Hero a little bit. 
I like the immortal being produced. I also like that these phoenixes are flying around looking for something. How many do we have? We have seven phoenixes. This is crazy. We went up to 58 workers, full two and a half base saturation basically. Because this is really just, well, it's slightly better than a half base. 2.7 base maybe, saturation. You have these two extra mineral patches, otherwise it would just be two and a half. Raven almost gets taken out, but does manage to survive. First Colossi starts six minutes and 40 seconds into the game. Second cannon also being constructed right now. Gate count is at three. That means a couple of extra gates can be built. Um, it's not about whether they can be built. It's whether they will be. So far, the answer seems to be no. Okay, here we go. Another sentry. We already have three force fields total right now. Here comes the push in. No interference matrix available, so the moment that this battery finishes up, or this colossi finishes up, this push will most likely kind of end. Feels like that if Maru had like 20 more seconds, or had an interference matrix right now, could probably just push in, honestly. Without an interference matrix, I would not recommend it. Now we have another warping coming in. These mines are going to move towards the left side, trying to bait something, uh, more so than anything. Phoenix count remains high at 8. Ninth Phoenix is on the way. Forge. Is that second Forge, no? Yeah, second Forge as well as a Twilight Council being constructed here. Interesting opener out of here. I love this type of build order. Hero really abusing the map and just abusing everything. The moment there's something to be abused, Hero is there. He's first in line. Every single time. It's actually crazy how good he is at that crap. Like, he's so good at abusing, like, little tricks, like, uh, the lack of scouting that Terran has, or, I think, this type of map feature. It's very impressive. Yeah, I wonder how his mind works when it comes to this. I wonder if it just kind of comes to him, or he needs to, you know, consciously start thinking about this type of stuff. Where it's like, okay, I want to figure something out, and he just opens up the map, or he opens up, like, a... Just like a, a custom game against the AI and just starts doing things. The process is what intrigues me the most here. Like, how does he get there? Does it just pop up all of a sudden while he's in the shower? Most of my build order ideas are usually like when you're semi-inactive, you know? You're like having a walk or something, thinking about your most recent set of custom games. I love that this uh, Raven's still alive, by the way. It's kind of impressive. It's one of these units that Terrans always lose, but Maru kept it alive for nine minutes. That is uh, three and a half minutes longer than the average Terran. Seems like Maru's setting up for a bit of an attack as well here. I don't actually like Maru's position, by the way. I think he's, a, he's in a really bad position. He's in a bad spot. He's going to be down in upgrade soon, too. Um, he's getting an armory. Single eBay still? No, double eBay. Okay, so he can start 2-2 probably. But I don't see him do any damage with a push here. I just don't think it's viable. Disruptors on the way. There's already three Colossi as well. We have Templar Archive soon. Upgrades are good. Like, this is just a dream scenario all around for Hero. It really is. Supply better for Hero as well. He has potential in these Phoenixes to kill more workers. Like... I don't even see a single advantage right now for Maru. I'd say this is like a 70-30 chance of Hero to win. For Hero to win. Prism, Blink, 2-2 starting right now for Maru. I mean, Maru's just investing so much into the future that it seems impossible to me that he's going to move across the map and deal damage. He can try to just gain some map control, maybe clear something, but actually dealing damage or taking out a base is going to be hard. It's actually going to be Hero that moves across the map. Now, I've been saying that I don't like Maru moving across the map, but I definitely do not like this. I think this is a massive error of judgment here. You see that there's Ghost. I don't think you can engage into this. Not against a player like Maru. Like, if I was a Terran controlling this army, this is probably a very wise idea. I'll EMP my own Metafax, and then my Raven flies into my own turret. All of a sudden, I lose that as well. My mines take out my own Marines, and just like that, the Toss wins. But... Against Maru, I do not recommend this. This is, an, this is an army that is so ridiculously weak against EMP that now that this anti-armor missile has hit, I think Maru is actually going to try and go for it. Gets the first prism. Needs to be 
man, the hero needs to be so careful here. Like, legit, super careful. There's nothing to push this army away. There's only a single disruptor. The rest of this army is just going to melt against the Viking Ghost Raven combination. Anti armor is so powerful. Don't forget that it's minus three. I'll repeat it one more time for the people in the back. Minus three armor. Three armor upgrades. The anti armor is as good as three armor upgrades. How did this make it into the game? I don't know either, but it's here. It's been here for like 12 years as well. Is that true? No, we first had Hunter Seeker Missile that did not remove the armor. Ooh, Ghost actually is gonna get taken out there by these Zealots and the Splash of the Mine. You have two Stargates on the way. I'd love to see uh, something else though. Rather than the Stargates, I'd love to see more Disruptors first. We're only on two currently. In order to keep map control, you usually need more Disruptors. We have Storm on the way. That is a decision that I respect and understand. And it's not because Storm is such a great tool to have during the fights. No, Storm is great to defend outside bases with cannons. If you have five cannons and a battery, that's nice. But eight Marauders and six Marines will still just absolutely clear that. Now you have the same amount of cannons and batteries and you add a Stormer. All of a sudden, these Marines and Marauders are not capable of clearing it because they need to split against the storm that allows the cannons to deal more damage and the storm also deals damage of course so altogether it's just a great thing it's a great defensive tool in this type of scenario straight into tempest one one upgrades as well at the same time on the air units three two is about to well these plus two armor is about to finish up here for hero well plus three has just started three three also starting for maru who's about to move across the map I think this is a good call. He's up an upgrade currently. Well, not anymore. Now it's 2-2 versus 2-2. The Tempest transition is uh, is not completed yet. There's not that many cannons here either. This is a full energy Raven. Can you get an EMP on this army and then maybe a, a jump in? This is not an army that fights well when it comes to like these, these fast fights, these single go fights. No, this is an army that fights really well if the fight lasts 35 minutes straight, you know? You're constantly trading, except rather than the Protoss actually losing units, you're just showing, you're shoving Purification Novas and Tempest Shots of the Terran's Bomb. And uh, that's a situation you usually want to be in as a Protoss player, if you have this type of army. Big Zealot run by. I appreciate this one. It's not going to be cost efficient, but you do get rid of a bunch of supply that you perhaps don't want to have anymore. So it's going to leave, leave five, six zealots behind. Those will die and the rest will stay alive. So he can slowly but surely start transitioning out of his crap army and start going into a better army. Double expansion at the same time as well. There's a lot of money in the bank right now for Hero. Three more Tempest. Hero being extremely cautious with everything. Attacking into Tempest. Is that Gravitic Drive? I think so, right? Yeah, Speed of the War Prisms. There we go. Recall on the Stalkers. Phoenixes are going to sacrifice their life for Ire as well as the Liberators take him out. We're still only on 1 1. I wouldn't mind 2 2 for these air units. How many Tempests do we want, you might ask? I don't really have a good answer for that. Surely you want to have 6. Maybe you want more. I always feel like six is such a powerful number. You, you can literally one-shot everything. And it also deals a lot of damage against the ground stuff. You get your... Um, what's it called? Tectonic destabilizers. The upgrade that the Tempest have on the fleet beacon that allows them to deal more damage to buildings. Such a useful upgrade to have, honestly. Triple cannons here over on the... Well, what appears to be the seventh base. This one's already done, so this will be base number seven. Or well, this once was base number seven. Now gets taken out. Cool move out of Maru. And the one thing perhaps we can criticize Hero for is the lack of map vision. There's no observer spread around. He has no idea what's happening currently. Is that Raven still alive? God, that's so annoying. Because then observers are so much weaker as well. That Raven is such a great utility unit. Brilliant, brilliant unit. It's a big ghost army as well here on the very far right side. EMPs perhaps on the Nexus as well. Can we get EMP on the Nexus to stop a, a potential recall? At the same time, we have an army moving on towards the far left side. Scan out of Maru is going to nuke, but that SCV or that ghost is going to get taken out. This army is going to move forward and we'll take out the sixth base here. The army is largely going to get destroyed though. 
This is why you need some type of map vision. Is there a Templar here? There's not a Templar. Is there a Templar here? There's not a Templar there either. So these bases are not very well defended. Cannons are going to get taken out. A couple of probes will get sniped here. Will this army will start moving back in is the question right now. Two more command centers are on the way for Maru. Do we get some scans? Yes, we do get a scan. We have eight ghosts, ten vikings against only three disruptors and eight tempests. That's a lot of tempests, but it's not that many disruptors. And it means that the ground army might actually be the biggest threat right now here for what Hero has. Yeah, sure, these vikings are annoying, but I don't think they're going to be capable of taking out eight tempests. Hero starts moving forward, wants to fight. Does not have revelation though. That means that the long distance of the Tempest will not be utilized quite as well if you would want to. EMP is not going to connect with any of these Templars. Storms are going to connect with these Vikings though. Hero having one hell of a fight so far. Oh, do we get a revelation on this army? No. Oracle is going to die instead. EMP on these Stormers. Also not quite hitting. What is the Viking count? We have seven Vikings remaining. This army is extremely bruised and battered around. Prism is on the way as well. Do we have reinforcements? Yes, we do. There's 12 gateways. Mm, can we get the lip? Can we get the lip? Can we get the lip? Single disruptor left. I'd love for more disruptors to be built. Second, third robotics facility. Okay, second robo is done. I wouldn't mind a third robotics facility just pumping out pure disruptors. This is an army that will just get owned by disruptors. There's nothing in this army that beats disruptors. There's a lot in this army, though, that will beat Tempest, Colossi, Stalker, Archon, because if you hit an EMP, life might just be okay. Disruptors are the thing that deals with Biowell. Colossi aren't. Colossi don't deal with Biowell. You can play Colossi Storm, but you need to be super careful. Disruptor's just easier, and here we go. Disruptor is going to get constructed. Second Robo also wants to start building something. At least it was Chrono Boosted. Oh, here comes a big flank out of Maru. Is this a flank or a counterattack is the question, actually, that I'm going to have. It's going to be a counterattack, or at least that's what it looks like. No, Maru's going to go back home and will realize that he can just kind of flank this position. One from the left, one from the semi-bottom and the right side at the same time. EMPs are going to be hitting his own Metavax. Did not hit the army whatsoever. There's plenty of EMPs where that came from, though. Tempest are falling very, very low. Hero winning this fight. No, Hero losing this fight. Not enough consistent damage output. Mm, Zealots are going to move in right now. Where's that prism? Prism is over there, very far in the back. Disruptor moving forward. Carrier as well as Avoider being produced. Disruptor, Purification Nova, Purification Nova. Not going to connect. Ghost will take out every single Tempest here. I do believe so. There's not that much anti-air left. Tempest is going to fly in the turret. And that means that Maru wins that fight. Expands towards the far right side at the same time. Has fantastic upgrades, and now we have carriers on the way. I, I like the Tempest. I don't think the issue was with the Tempest here, Hero. I think that is a misjudgment of why you lost that fight. The issue was the lack of disruptors. The issue was the fact that you walked up a ramp and got surrounded from two sides while you had a Tempest. The Tempest is a unit that needs to fight over time, and they work so well. They synergize so well with disruptors. Why weren't they there? Why, where were the disruptors? We have a missing poster hanging up, and... Ooh, well, that disruptor is going to get sniped down. Second disruptor is going to get sniped down as well. Ooh, Maru's going to commit to this. I'm not quite sure if he can. Can he? Maru believes he can. Uh, if Maru believes, then I believe as well. A couple of EMPs hitting here. More units streaming in. That's it. That's game. Game, set, and game. GG gets called. Maru wins the game over here on Moondance in a uh, well, rather dominant fight here. The defensive side of things felt like hero was in control of this game for such a long time from start to finish really but maru just needs one good fight and he can push on and win the game all right that's going to be it for me today thanks all so much for watching if you did enjoy this don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see all of you next time for a new video thanks so much and bye bye